What's up guys, Justin here for s, &S Archery. In today's gear video, we're gonna be looking at a couple new rests that we're gonna be selling here at s, s Archery. We have the new Vapor Trail Gen Integrate and the Vapor Trail Gen Integrate X. All right guys, getting right into this video, I have two rests that we're gonna be looking at today. We have the Gen Integrate and the Gen Integrate X. Uh, really very similar across the board. The one difference you're gonna see here on these is the Gen Integrate X comes with micro adjustment. So it does have the knobs here to make fine adjustment when we're really dialing this in. Makes it very nice for setting it up. Obviously a little bit more expensive, a little bit heavier too. Comes in at 4.1 ounces versus 3.6 ounces on the Gen Integrate. Uh, you do also notice here a little bit different on the body. The Integrate X has this round pulley looking thing. This is to attach our activation cord to the bottom side limb. Those are really the only differences. You can add the limb bracket to the, the regular Gen Integrate. It will be an additional part that you can order. So both of these are limb driven. That's one thing that we look for uh, when we're looking at rests. We don't have a lot of faith with some of the archery shops around our area. So we like to do the work ourselves as much as we can anyways. And the limb driven rests really allow us to do that. So they're very easy to set up, install. Setting one of these up probably only takes you 30 minutes or so. Uh, the, the cool thing about these two new rests in front of me is their ability to um, mount up to our Bose Picatinny system, our IMS system on these new bows. So uh, the Hoyts, the Matthews, some of those newer bows have the IMS uh, ability to mount this up. Uh, it really, the whole idea behind this is taking the weight from one side of our bow and making everything streamlined, centered up, just like my sight here. Um, anytime we can do that, we can run uh, low profile quivers. Like I said, streamline, make this thing a lot more balanced as we're going to shoot, um, especially after the shot, your bow doesn't want to drift or fall. So. That is the cool thing about this rest. I personally have never used a rest that can mount up to my Hoyt. So I finally have one within the Vapor Trail. And I've been testing this, shooting it out, and I'm really excited about it. I've had great success, very repeatable. It's a little bit different as far as a launcher style that I'm used to and containment cage, but I definitely like it. So it's definitely grown on me. When we take a look at just the regular Gen Integrate, uh, the body, machined aluminum, just like here on the X model. Comes in at 3.6 ounces versus 4.1. So just those additional parts, I make the Integrate X a little bit heavier. Um, like I said, a little bit different on the launcher style. You can see here, basically we have this free floating launcher arm that's off the side. Um, when your bow is basically in resting state, the launcher is all the way down. I do have a slot just like the ham skis or the rip cords to enter that arrow in on the side. But when your bow's in resting state, that launcher's in a down position. As you pull back, those limbs start to kind of fold in and that raises up to your final spot here before you make the shot. Right as you shoot, that falls out of the way while guiding the arrow out. Uh, the construction of the cage is all carbon fiber and then it's basically wrapped in this rubber mold. Another cool feature that both of these uh, rests are gonna offer is there's a bunch of different color options and customization that you can do within the cage itself. So you can change this, basically this entire body out. I think there's like 14 different colors. You have two uh, Allen screws here on the inside that hold it together. Those come out, you can swap those different color cages basically, so very cool. When we look at making an adjustment on just the regular Gen Integrate, as far as our elevation, we have this Allen screw here on the side. Once we loosen that, the entire mount moves up and down. As you can see there, we have some individual hash marks. So you can kind of keep track of it where you're at. Um, a little bit tougher to set up just because we're using our hands to try to make those small adjustments, but that definitely can be done. Here on the front of the rest, we have our screw that gives us the ability to move this the uh, rest in or out so your left and right and once again we do have all the little hash marks so we can keep an eye out when we're uh, setting this up as far as mounting both of these rests up to our bow very simple to do like i said we have the ims mount here in the back so we can go ahead and loosen this screw and it's just a basically a clamp design uh, this is just going to spread and it's going to fit right on that rail. Once that's 
uh, positioned right, you're just going to tighten up that screw once more and lock it in place. Very easy to do. You might have to make some adjustments as far as uh, where it is on your pick rail, moving it up and down. Um, the whole idea here is with our elevation adjustment, we want to give ourselves as much room as possible. Uh, we don't want to max the thing out. So if I mount it too high, I'm going to run out of adjustment here on the side of it. So uh, you may have to move it up and down, just kind of fine tweak it. But a lot of clearance here on my setup where I got it to shoot, uh, to be shooting bullets. So very easy. When we want to make an adjustment on the Gen Integrate X, with the micro adjustment knobs, we have the main Allen screw that we're gonna crack loose, and then we can either use our hands here to make the adjustment, or on the inside of these knobs, there's actually an Allen screw as well. So we can really fine tune this. It just makes it a lot easier. Sometimes your fingers are too bulky to get in here to make that adjustment. So being able to use that Allen key uh, definitely uh, is nice. Uh, a couple more things, just a few of the accessories that you're going to get. You're going to get a shag pad, which is going to sit on your riser shelf. Um, I did have to cut mine down just a little bit because the, the shelf here on my Hoyt is pretty small, but it does have an adhesive here on the back. So you just cut it to fit and then I just pressed it in place trying to get it all lined up and straight. You can see here there is a little bit of a channel, which kind of helps guide your arrow when it's laying on your on the riser shelf. Um, like I said, if you were to twist your bow, you know, pretty hard as far as stocking in, you definitely want to use a finger over the arrow just to contain it uh, so it's not making any noise on the system. Uh, You're going to have your activation cord, which will come with both of these rests. Uh, I had about four inches of extra length uh, once I tied it in to my limb, so I, it's plenty of cord. Um, so I don't think you're going to run out on that. The last thing you're going to get is a limb pad, which has an adhesive on the back of it as well. Uh, this is just used to attach to the bottom of your top limb and then take your activation cord and wrap it around and tie it in place. So one more thing I need to hit on about these rests is if your bow doesn't have the IMS mounting system here with the Picatinny mount, uh, this rest will not work for you. Uh, it does not utilize the burger bolt. There is no universal bracket on it. So this is specific to the IMS mounting system. If you are interested in a vapor trail rest, but um, have one of those bows that doesn't have the IMS, we do offer the Gen 7, uh, which has basically that universal mounting system. So if you guys have any questions on the Gen Integrate or the Gen Integrate X, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.